Did you know that your ability to sit and rise from the floor is a significant predictor of how long you'll live? We're gonna show you this simple test which can tell you a lot about your current health and functional ability. This study published in 2014 got around 2,000 adults aged 50 to 80 to perform the sitting rising test. They then tracked these subjects over many years to see how many were still alive and how well their score on that test predicted their survival rates. I'm gonna show you how you can do this test for yourself and then we'll discuss the results. I've got Alicia here with me to help demonstrate the test. It should be done on a flat surface with plenty of space. You should do it barefoot and wearing clothing that does not restrict your movement. The instruction is, without worrying about the speed of your movement, try to sit down and then to rise from the floor using the minimum support that you believe is needed. You can see that the test requires quite a lot of strength, particularly in your hips and legs, as well as flexibility and a good portion of balance too. When it comes to scoring, each of the two components of the test, the sit and the rise, are scored individually out of five points. Five is the maximum for each component, with one point deducted for any of the following faults which occur during the test. One point is deducted if you have to touch the floor with a hand, touch the floor with a knee, touch the floor with a forearm, touch the floor with the side of your lower leg, or touch your knee or thigh with your hand. An additional half point is deducted for an unsteady execution if a partial loss of balance occurs during the action like this. You apply this same scoring criteria to both the sit and rise components of the test. You can see here that you get a score out of five for each of those two components, and then you add up those two for a final score out of 10. 10 is the best possible score, which means you executed both components perfectly without any of the faults occurring, and zero is the worst possible score. If you want to, pause the video now while you do the test for yourself and calculate your score. Let us know how you did in the comments. The researchers divided the subjects who did the test into four categories based on their scores. You can see here that category one is the worst score, those who scored zero to three out of 10, and category four is the best score, people who were able to score eight to 10 out of 10. Around 70% of subjects in their 50s were able to score in category four. That number was around 45% for those people in their 60s, and only around 15% for people in their 70s. As you might expect, lower scores equaled higher mortality. The researchers found that the inability to sit and rise from the floor was predictive of mortality, irrespective of age, sex, or BMI. In fact, the people that scored in the lowest group, the zero to three out of 10, had more than a five-fold higher death rate over the following six years. In this next graph, we can see the results really clearly. The four colored lines each represent one of the scoring categories. The black line at the top shows the group who were able to score eight to 10, and they have the best rates of survival over 14 years. The red line represents the lowest scoring group, and you can see the significant difference in survival rates. It doesn't get much clearer than that. Your musculoskeletal fitness and function, as measured by this simple test, has a profound effect on your lifespan. Now, this test isn't perfect, of course, and there's lots it doesn't take into account, but it is still a really good example of how important strength and general physical function is for your health. So let us know how you did in the comments. And if your score wasn't where you'd like it to be, then you should be doing strength training to help improve that. We've got you covered. So hit the link in the description and sign up on our website and you'll get access to a free strength workout so you can get started today.